Good morning, Nystrom, and happy Tuesday to you. For all of you who were on campus yesterday, thank you for a great first day back. It had been like over 400 days since we had had kids on campus, and it was so great to have you there. Now, shifting gears a little bit, coming up on Thursday is Earth Day. So what is Earth Day? Let's take a little bit of time this week and learn not only about what Earth Day is, but what we can do to protect the Earth. So check out this video on the history of Earth Day. April 22nd is Earth Day. It is an opportunity for every person to cherish and protect our planet. In the late 1960s, scientists began to realize our environment was growing weaker and less healthy. Many of our great modern innovations like trains, cars, planes, and factories often create pollution and waste. Conservationists and environmentalist pioneers realized that if humans weren't more careful, the planet would get irreversibly damaged and people would have a hard time living here. A senator from Wisconsin named Gaylord Nelson wanted to create a special day for us to acknowledge the state of our planet and work to keep it healthy. He proposed the first Earth Day in 1970. He chose April 22nd so that students could participate through their schools during a season good for outdoor activities. Senator Nelson asked the governors of all 50 states and the mayors of the largest U.S. cities to issue Earth Day proclamations to get people interested. And they were. Earth Day was a huge success. Senator Nelson's idea brought together more than 20 million people nationwide to support one cause, a healthy Earth. The next two Earth Days actually occurred only once a decade, on April 22nd, 1980 and 1990. But since 1990, Earth Day has been celebrated every year and worldwide, with more than one billion people planting trees, cleaning up trash, stopping pollution, and encouraging recycling and conservation. Things are looking up for the Earth. What do you and your community do to celebrate Earth Day? Super interesting. And now, let's take a couple minutes and watch this video, which not only shows some beautiful, beautiful imagery from across the globe, but hopefully will inspire us to learn more about what we can do to protect the environment. And we'll talk more explicitly about that in the coming days. told you that Monday's riddle was a tough one. What do the numbers 11 and 88 have in common? And the answer is they both look the same upside down and backwards. A number of you did get it, but not as big as my usual list. Might have been something because just some of us were a little distracted on the first day back. I don't know. Miss B, Mr. Z, Miss Ibilola, Miss Fairweather, Mr. LaFleur, Miss Heller, Miss Jang, Miss Schultz, and Miss Etchy all got that one correct. Congratulations. Now, today's riddle not only ties into Earth Day, but is also courtesy of Ms. Schultz's second graders. So, here we go. How did the tree get into his computer? Let us know, and we will share the answers on Wednesday morning. Today, remember those four Bs. Be responsible, be respectful, be safe, and be honest. Have a great day or not. The choice is yours.